after the last shooting video, some of you guys complained because you don't have a rebounder. So I'm gonna take you guys through a full shooting workout that you don't need a rebounder. You do this all by yourself. It's a little bit tougher, but and it might take a little more time, but you still can get the same out of it and still get the same work done. As you guys can tell, I'm already a little bit sweaty. Already got one workout in. It's kind of a tune-up workout, so you can do this after your main workout. It shouldn't be too hard on your body. Kind of just getting shots up and uh, fine-tuning your game. This will be around 200 makes, 150 to 200 makes, depending on what you include in the burnout at the at the end. So, 150 makes, about 150 to 200 makes. Let's do it. Go ahead and feel free to skip past this. This is more so just to show you guys the importance that I do form shots every single day. And it's just really to focus on me feeling my release and aiming small in order to miss small. So yeah, I do this before every workout. It's not glamorous, but it, it needs to be done. First warm-up drill is what I like to call a roll-up. This drill is intended to help keep the ball attached to your body and not out in front. This will also help the smoothness of your jumper, getting rid of any hitches or kinks. The second warm-up drill is just a single leg RDL into a shot. This drill is to help us focus on our stability and coordination during our shot. We want to keep our core tight, but still be smooth. Third warm up drill is what I call half spin hops. This drill is meant to focus on balance on the catch, finding our target, and our pop off the ground. It is important that on all these sidestep drills, our outside plant foot is strong and stable so that it, we can redirect our momentum and go straight up on our shot. Sidesteps don't need to be fadeaways because we've already created that separation from our defender.
it's important that we focus on our footwork on all these spin out shots. Our inside foot should be giving us leverage and pop into our shot. It should stop our momentum and then pop us straight up. farther away from the basket we move, the more small inefficiencies will show in our shot. Make sure to stay disciplined in your shot form and remove any wasted or counter movements. There are three basic footworks that every hooper must have mastered. The one-two inside-outside, the one-two hop, the one-two hesitation outside-inside. You should rep these footworks until they are second nature. They are the core of all shooting movements. finish the workout, we have burnouts. This is more or less just conditioning with shooting. The goal of this is to train shooting while you're tired and overall just get a good workout. I gave you guys some options here for the burnouts. You don't have to do all of them. You could do one of them multiple times, but again, make shots while you are tired. These will be the raw unedited versions of my burnouts. I want you guys to try and beat my score. My scores will be posted at the end of each one.
workout, you can see I'm drenched in sweat. 170 makes, no rebounder, about an hour and 20 minutes. Now, to get to 200, you got 30 free throws if you want it. You know, shoot while you're tired. And if you guys like this type of stuff, follow me for more. I'll be heading overseas here in the next week. And uh, we'll get into more day in the life and lifestyle stuff of overseas basketball player. Final, final closing free throw. Oh, thank you.